Well, a stern warning from Canada's top banker today. Don't get in over your head when it comes to debt. It's not the first time he said it, but it seems an especially tall order in the midst of an interest rate war. We've got more on this now from Havard Gould. Havard. Peter, some are calling it the great Canadian mortgage rush. But the governor of the Bank of Canada is warning it's not a great idea for Canadians to pile on more debt. At this mortgage brokerage, in recent days, as rates have dropped, calls have soared. Since this uh, rate war, for want of a better expression, you know, we're seeing the phones coming off the hook. The first shot fired last week, five years for less than 3%. Now there's 10 years at just under four. Good location, nice high ceilings. Not everyone will qualify for those deals and they come with some restrictions. But some real estate agents say it feels like almost everyone wants to at least take a look. It's been a much busier January than usual. It's obviously got a lot of people very excited. There are the maintenance fees. Below Mike Sai has been planning for a while to buy a property as an investment. But the rates available now are an incentive to make a deal right away. You never know, they could go up next week, so... <laughs> uh, you know, if the timing's right, then it's right. But is it right for Canadians to race to borrow more? The day after the Bank of Canada said it expected Canadians' record debt burden to keep rising, it issued another warning. The, the, the risk here is that um, more vulnerable households, the, the, the more vulnerable households uh, take on additional debt. The vast majority of Canadians are not at risk and we are not about to tumble over the cliff. This business professor, a former mortgage manager, says Canadians are more responsible than anyone gives them credit for. He was in the mortgage business in the early 80s when rates went higher than people thought possible, triggering protests. The mortgage delinquency ratio at the time in Canada went from one half of 1% to 1%. This was with mortgages at 20%. Now it's the other extreme, rates lower than people thought possible and just as the central bank is saying go slow, yes. people are rushing in to take advantage. Money's cheap, money's cheap. Some of those mortgage deals are limited time offers, but brokers say how long the rate war will last is anyone's guess. Peter? All right, Havard, thanks very much. Havard Gould in Toronto. Our senior business correspondent Amanda Lang joins us now. We've got rock bottom interest rates and a warning to stop borrowing. Those don't fit. They don't. Consumer spending is a concern. Household debt is a concern. But Mark Carney has another interest, and he repeated it today, and that is business spending. Private sector spending needs to pick up if our economy is going to pick up, and he's been beating this drum for a while. Businesses have a record amount of cash, and they have to start spending it if the recovery is going to get serious. And that's why rates are low. Another reason rates are low concern about Europe and he was also talking about that today and he's not alone the IMF said today it needs another 500 billion for countries that might need a bailout can it get the money is a big question Canada's on the hook if it does succeed so far the US has already said it's not interested but it's a sign of just how serious the problem is how big the problem is and that it's still of concern to us all right thanks Amanda